tons of plastic per year being dumped into our ocean. If we eat fish, we may be eating some plastic pieces as well. At the time, is urgent in terms of concrete steps that government and citizens... The solution to the ocean plastic problem is on land. So you can spend all this time cleaning up the ocean. It's never going to end. What's going to make it end is how do we change how we do things? How do we deal with our waste in a different way? Dari Banyuwangi sudah 10 tahun angkut sampah di Bali. Tapi kalau ini nggak diambil. Tambah banyak lagi, tambah banyak lagi, terus-terusan kayak gitu kan. Benar kita dengan kondisi kayak gini udah jenuh kita gitu. Tapi kita terus berusaha, berusaha untuk masyarakat biar lingkungannya bersih gitu aja. There are over a million independent waste workers across Indonesia. It's a really hard job, and they're doing it with like such limited resources. Half the island has no waste collection. If your waste isn't collected, people start burning their garbage or throwing it in the canal river. So the whole digital revolution has kind of completely missed the waste sector. Today almost everyone has a smartphone, which means we can now address this problem in ways we couldn't imagine just five years ago. We started doing these training with high school students, building data sets of the actual things in the waste to be able to quickly assess if you're going to one of these waste facilities to see what's there, um, what the value is. We collected all the image and then we transfer it to the Google Cloud platform. From there, we can separate it in data sets and we train till we have the good model. We first heard about the Google AI Impact Challenge through social media. If we want to be a trash tech company, we're going to probably use AI. Discovering AutoML, looking at TensorFlow. The big benefit in working with Google.org has been this connection with mentors. The last month and a half, we've done more tech development than we've ever done before. With this app, the waste collectors will have a map of their customers so they'll know where their customers are and when they need to collect. They'll be able to receive payments for their service from their customers, and then they'll also be able to track what they've collected and what in the waste is recycled to know what value they'll get out of it. We're helping the collectors work better, do better, be more productive. If you want to solve this problem, you've got to support the people that are dealing with it every day, day in and day out. Waste is a man-made concept. There is no waste in nature. As we explain to people what's actually going on, this is how we can solve it, I think we'll get a lot of support. This is our chance to get the waste collected, sorted, recycled, and out of our rivers and oceans.